Good morning. It's Jenny. I, there's no bangs. I know it's a little bit I'm freaking people out today because I have my bangs to the side. Um, every once in a while, I feel the urge to grow out my bangs, but then I just think about all the money I'll spend on Botox if I don't have them. So bangs are a lot cheaper than Botox. And I think they've kind of become my thing. So I think I'll be keeping the bangs. But I wanted to come to you this morning because I had this moment in the car, <coughs> um, which is usually where I get my ideas. I'm either in the shower or in the car. But I, um, a few years ago, gosh, it's probably more than a few years ago, but I only listen to K-Love Christian radio in the car. Um, and it's not because I'm boring and because I'm a prude, um, but it's just because I want that positive reminder um, constantly. So I'm hearing, I'm hearing scripture, I'm hearing positive stories, encouraging stories, I'm hearing about people that are making a difference in the world, and it kind of just keeps me grounded. So that is something that, that's my happy place, it's like church every time I get in the car. So the Zach Williams song came on today, I don't know if you're familiar with it, I'm going to put a link to the song in the comments because it sort of triggered this whole chain reaction of thought. And this song is about fear. It's called Fear, He is a Liar. And I'm going to just read you some of the lyrics. And it says, um, when he told you you're not good enough, when he told you you're not right, when he told you, told you you're not strong enough to put up a good fight, when he told you you're not worthy, when he told you you're not loved, when he told you you're not beautiful, that you'll never be enough, fear he is a liar. He will take your breath, stop you in your steps. Fear he is a liar. He will rob your rest, steal your happiness, cast your fear in the fire, because fear he is a liar. Um, and it's funny, not haha -ha funny, but it's interesting how your blocks change as you grow in this journey um, and how um, the things that that used to hold you back don't anymore, but then new things pop up in their place. So this month I have been on the struggle bus a little bit and you've probably noticed it because I've been quieter than usual. I am usually not quiet, um, but I am in this weird place and I know it's it's fear-based and it's, um, it's just a block that I'm gonna have to get through and I'm gonna have to work on myself, but we had the high of last month of those awesome numbers and I hit executive director and then we were in the Bahamas like on a dream vacation. I closed on my dream house in Florida. Um, I made, I, my paycheck on the 15th was exactly, like exactly my salary as a teacher when I taught fourth grade. And I remember when I got offered that job and I saw my salary and I thought, wow. Like, I can't believe I'm making that much money already. Like, I, I thought that was amazing when that was my annual salary. And I just made that in a month. Um, and instead of that encouraging me and, like, wanting to shout all that from the rooftops and, and tell people, like, this is real, this works, look, look what I've been able to do because of this company and because of this opportunity and I'm nothing special and I did this, Instead of thinking that, I've felt that success um, isolating me. Be, be, just it's it's all just in my own head. But I felt funny. I felt um, I still haven't told anybody about my house. Like people in my family don't know I bought a house because I feel so weird about it. And then when I do tell people, I don't want to tell them where it is because I don't want them to look it up on Zillow and see how much it costs. And it's made me, um, it's made me hold back. And I know that that is, um, that is just something that I'm going to have to deal with. And that is the enemy trying to use that to make me feel undeserving, make me feel less than, make me feel like, um, I'm not going to be able to do what I've always done because there's now this like inv invisible wall, um, and 
it's been really hard and I've been working on it and I've been praying about it and I've been doing personal development and then I when I heard that song today I was like that is just that is just it it's just all these lies that I am believing real friends will be happy for you yeah. I and I don't I don't necessarily I don't even think it's that I think it's just something within me that feels um braggy or boastful or that it's going to make it seem um just like unattainable cuz i feel i like think back to myself and like if somebody was like oh you can make this amount in a month i'd have been like yeah okay right yeah right sure um it it's just so big and so amazing that i feel like it almost makes it not seem real even though it is real if that makes sense but i just heard that song today and i was like you know what it it doesn't matter where you are in this journey and what that thing in your head is that's holding you back, that lie in your ear that's telling you you're not good enough for whatever reason, but it's always there and you always have to shut it down. You always have to be the one that says, you know what, you are a liar. That is not true. That is not who I am. Um, and I can do this and anyone can do this. And I think that's basically the reason I wanted to come to you guys right away and just say, Whatever it is that you're struggling with, we've all struggled along the way and it is part of this journey and possibly the best part of this journey is just how you grow in your belief in yourself and in other people's and in what is possible. Because I know my frame of reference for what is and is not possible has completely, completely changed. Um, and no matter what happens, like this company could go down in flames tomorrow. <sighs> I don't think that's gonna happen. But let's just say that it did. I am a completely different person now who will have completely different expectations of myself, of others, and what is possible. So I feel like once you get to that point of dreaming big and seeing what you are capable of and what is out there and what is truly possible, it forever changes you, but don't for one second think that doubt doesn't creep in along the way. And it sneaks up on you when you least expect it. So for me, it was like all these amazing things were happening and it made me, I swear I was giving out like the negative energy. I totally believe in, um, in energy and laws of attraction. And I think that I was going through this mental struggle, I had all this negative energy happening, and then like in a matter of a week, I sprained my ankle, scratched my cornea, <laughs> like, you know, didn't have a hotel reservation when I went to, like, I mean, all these things just kept happening, and I think it was because I was like exuding negative energy, which is usually not how I roll. Um, but I just wanted to encourage you all that no one is perfect, that everyone deals with their own internal struggle, most of which exists right here. Like most of what I have been struggling with lives right in between my ears. They are not real problems. They are imagined issues that I just need to work through. It's my block. Um, and it's funny, I remember talking to Tony Van Schoik and she was saying it was one of her success was one of the hardest things that she had to deal with and work on and get through. And I remember thinking like, how can success be something that you have to get through and work on? But now I get it because there are these moments where it feels weird, where you're just like, how are all these wonderful things happening? How did I get here? I'm nobody special. So know that you are somebody special and that you were created for a purpose and that you're on this journey for a reason and we have the ability to drastically change people's situation we it doesn't matter who you are where you came from what your background is what your education level is um if if you're married if you're divorced if you're broken if whatever it is you can take this opportunity and completely change your life. And I've just seen story after story, including my own, that that proves true. So I think when we get lost in our head, when we feel like we're blocked, when we feel like we've hit a wall, that is the exact moment that we need to say, you know what? I am not giving up. 
I am not listening to these lies. It is possible. All of my wildest dreams can come true and fear he is a liar and I'm not going to believe it anymore. So I just wanted to share that with you. I know you're all busy wrapping up your months. All those flex shifts have gone out and um, anything that you do from this point forward is going to be new business. So look at these next few days with a clear head and an open heart and know that we have something amazing to offer people whether that's here in our backyard in canada in the uk we have something amazing to offer people and if you if you're doubting yourself if you're doubting this business if you're doubting anything it's a lie and it's there to hold you back and keep you back from reaching your full potential. So move forward knowing that we've got the best thing going here and that you've got um, a tribe of support and a safe space. And if anybody ever needs anything or to talk or a pep talk, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, but um, I just, it was on my heart and I just had to share that. So it's been a tough week last week. I think. We're, I think there's a lot of us that are in the same space, and I don't know why that is, but it, I, I feel it. Not, it's not just me. So there, I think there's a lot of us that are going through stuff, and I think it's just that refining to get to that next level. Um, I truly believe that that um, that every challenge just prepares you for what's next. And I found that like every time like the wheels came off and things got ugly and I got in a in a bad place and really had to work on myself, that's when the breakthrough happened was right on the other side of that. And people just give up just like this much too soon. Um, so don't, don't give up. Don't give up. Keep moving forward. We got this. And I just love you all to pieces. So make it a great day. Um, and I'm going to please listen to the song. Have a good cry. Listen to the song. You'll feel so much better because I just cried in the Starbucks parking lot and I feel like a new woman because um, I just sort of like gave it to God and I was like, you know what? I got to stop holding myself back and being embarrassed by my success because that's stupid because by not sharing it, I am maybe not going to reach people who would decide to take a leap and say yes on this opportunity because of what I shared. Because I'm too worried, oh, are people going to think she's, she's full of herself? Like, come on, it's not about me. So, it's about all the people whose lives we are going to change because of this company. And I love we get, that we get to do it together. I'm going to stop rambling now. Love your faces. Mwah. Bye.